All right guys, so we all know that the FX Clipper from Babyliss is one of the most used clippers in the industry. We have the regular old FX. This is my custom here in the middle. And we also have the Boost Plus Clipper, which is an FX Clipper that is upgraded. But one of the biggest problems we have, especially with these first two, is that after a while, they just start to wear down. The battery's not as strong. They kind of sound like they're struggling a little bit. Similar to the Magic Clip back in the day, you know, six months in with the Magic Clip and it just sounded like crap. So with these two especially guys, it just kind of loses that power that it comes with originally now the boost i haven't used long enough but it's obviously boosted from the factory that's how it comes so it has a little bit better of a motor and all of that to begin with but today we're going to be talking about the 245 performance upgrade for your fx clippers now the idea here guys is that this upgrade is going to bring them back to life right it's going to be a brand new motor a brand new battery the battery has 50 percent more capacity and the motor is closer to the boost upgrade which brings me to my next point i get a lot of questions asking if the performance upgrade is for the boost now on the website guys it says not compatible with the Boost FX Clipper. Now the reason that is guys is basically this performance upgrade is just as good as the motor that's in the Boost Clipper from the get-go. So the performance upgrade is really intended for your regular FX that's old and depleted and doesn't run that good anymore or for a custom FX that has the same motor that has the same problem. Now if your Boost is a year old and it is not cutting very well anymore by all means guys this kit will fit in there. It is just not intended to replace the Boost motor because it's basically the same thing. But if you are looking for a new motor for your boost, this will fit and bring it back to life. So anyway guys, this is one of my guys' regular FX. This is my old black boost that I had. But today we're gonna be upgrading my custom FX. Let's go ahead and set the clipper over here for now. And we're gonna focus on the performance kit. So you guys can see on the front, 245 Babyliss Performance Motor and Battery Kit for Babyliss FX Clipper. Hey, clipper's not included, guys. The clipper would not fit in the box. It's sad that we have to put that on there. Same stuff on the side, pretty much. On the back, it does have the 245 story. And I believe if you scan this QR, it will take you to my instructions on how to install it. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this box open. And another reason I wanted to make this, guys, is this is the first kit that comes in one box. So before it was two different pieces, we have since changed that and now it comes in one box. So you guys can see a couple screws for the motor right here, a couple more screws, there's two different kinds. There's the battery and there's the motor. So the motor, pretty self-explanatory, guys. This is gonna plug into the battery board. We'll set that to the side. Go ahead and get the battery out. And the battery is a part of this whole board, guys, right? So you can see this is gonna be the switch in the middle here. This is gonna change our battery color. The motor is gonna plug in right here. We'll see when we get it inside the clipper. And then the charging cord is gonna plug in right here. So I'm gonna set all this to the side. Again, these screws are gonna go into the motor to hold it in, but you will have some already. So if we need those, we have backup. All right, so we have a big tip screwdriver. We have my electric screwdriver here. I did put that in the description in the Amazon store. A lot of you guys were asking. It was actually cheaper than I realized. And here's our effects. So we're gonna start to take this apart you're gonna start by taking off the three screws on the bottom once those are out we can take this green cap off this sleeve will just slide off the rubber grip so if you guys wonder how to change the rubber grip that is how now very carefully guys we want to get underneath this pink lid right here oh and pop that off now there's two screws at the top and two at the bottom and it will take these two halves apart All right, so all the screws are out. You guys can just grab the front face. There it is. I'm definitely gonna get something and blow this hair off and then we'll work on the motor. I right, guess so you can actually see I already have the 245 motor in here. I do not have the battery. Like I said before, it came in two parts, so I only have the motor. So the first thing we gotta do guys, these four screws right here are gonna come off, same way as before. Take all the screws out, guys. The longer ones go on top of the motor. Now we can just lift the motor out. The battery will be connected and the charging port at the bottom. So there's our whole setup, guys. We're basically going to mimic that. We will need this silver plate right here. We want the green part on top, so we'll go ahead and put this on here. Now the only part we're gonna need from this is the charging cord, so you guys just grab this white piece right here and pop it out. Now we have that, the battery, and we can start to reassemble. So we're gonna take the motor, you guys wanna make sure that it goes right here into the cam follower on the blade. You guys should be able to see in the holes and make sure that it lines up. Again, the short screws are at the bottom. Now we'll just get one of the screws started and the second one. Now the two long ones at the top. And then we'll snug all these back down and we can move on to the battery. And guys, this power screwdriver only gets them so tight. So once you get them kind of where it stops working, you may need to bust out the big screwdriver and come in and give them that last little quarter of a turn to get them all the way snug. 
Okay, so next up the battery. And guys, there is a switch right here at the top. It says B U G N N Y L. So I believe if you switch it to the top, it will be blue, green in the middle, and yellow at the bottom. So that's going to be your charging light. I'm going to keep it on blue since we do have some blue on these clippers. And this is going to go at the top. This black lever in the middle is actually your power switch. You guys see the button here. This is going to go on there and touch that black switch right there and move up and down. And that's what will turn it on. So this is going to be our top. So we're going to bring our white plug in and just plug it into the battery. Our charging cord like I said same thing at the bottom here and now we can start to assemble all of this you guys just want to be kind of careful with the cords make sure they go in the charging cord will sit right in this space at the bottom and then we just got to get the battery to sit down in here there you go and it should sit something like that now this is obviously off we want to make sure that the button here is off we will sandwich these two back together and usually before I screw it all back together I want to turn it on and make sure that it's good. So you guys heard it, it's good. Now we can put all our screws back in. The so same thing here guys, we want to hand tighten these all the way because that little electric screwdriver is just not gonna get it all the way tight. All right, next step, take our plate right here. I'm just gonna snap that in. It should still be sticky enough. If you guys did run into a problem with that, you could just add something to make it stick again. Slide on a rubber grip. And you guys can see we have three screws, so make sure that this is aligned the correct way. Push it down. And these are the last screws that we have to have. And as you can see guys, we did not need the screws. I guess those are just for backups in case you lose something. Last but not least guys, we'll throw our power clip on. I did notice something the other day guys, the power clips don't fit as snug if you have this silver ring in here. So I took it out, we obviously don't need that. Put the power clip on, and there we go. Now we'll go ahead and turn it on and let you guys check it out. And obviously guys, this battery is straight out of the box. I did not charge it. We just literally put it together and turn it on. So I'd imagine we charge it full. We may even get a little bit more power, but you guys can see, that's how you do the upgrade. So like I said, guys, if you want to do this to your Boost Plus Clipper, you can. It's just not intended because it's basically an exact replacement of what's already in there. But if your Boost Clipper is kind of old and worn out, you guys can upgrade it. Kind of same as I just did right here. So we already had the performance motor in here. Now I get a little bit more battery life, but with the power clips, I don't really care about battery life. But you guys may, but basically guys, this clipper was kind of old and running down. It sounded bad. Now we got it back to life. I'm going to throw it on the charger. We're ready to go for my next cut. And if you guys want to check out the 245 performance kit for the FX Clippers, head to 245.com. You guys can save 10% on your whole order using code Sean Cuts Hair. And guys, that's across the entire website. So if you want to check out the brand new power pods or the power mat and the power clips and that whole setup or any of the styling products or anything that we make, guys, make sure you check it out on 245.com. Lots of stuff for you guys to look at. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you didn't see my video on the power pods, click right here and make sure you guys check that out.